first thing we're going to do is open up the Mako front door and then Scott is hooking up the valve. Fill regulator. Fill regulator. And then you just walk, walk through what you're doing. Okay, once you get this all screwed on tight, just needs to be hand tight. Close your bleeder valve. Open your valve here to the tank. Put it into the chamber. Close your chamber. From this point, you want to select one of your four banks to fill the system. We're going to use bank one. Here's charging the system. Open the valve all the way. Down here is your regulator to set your outlet pressure, or in other words, the pressure you want to fill the bottle up to. Increase it. And what are you filling it to? To 4,500 PSI. That point, you can open your fill valve. The system will equalize up the pressure that was in the bottle, and then we'll start filling from that point. You can see the gauge is already around 3,500 psi, and it'll fill to 4,500 psi. And then once it's filled up, what do you do? Once the system is filled up, you would turn off your fill valve. You can go ahead and decrease the pressure in your regulator, and then close. Sorry. Close your bank system, then take all the pressure off of your regulator. Then you open up the system, close the valve, open your bleeder valve, then you can remove the, the line from the tank itself. Now you close the valve on the bottle, right? No, you close the valve on the hose that's mm -hmm. leading to the bottle. The, okay. the valve on the, on, the, on the bottle itself is a one-way valve. All right, and so what does it mean to when you uh, hot fill a bottle? Hot filling is putting too much air too fast into the bottle, and when you pull the bottle out, the bottle will actually be hot to the touch. At that point, what ends up happening is that it says it's at 4,500 PSI, but it's actually a false false reading because as the bottle cools off, air can air condenses, so we'll actually have a drop in pressure, a couple hundred PSI will, you'll lose from filling it up as a hot fill, if it's called. Okay. Now, what if there's not enough air in any of the valves? How do you fill up that, uh, the compressor so it can fill the bottles? How do you fill the compressor? How do you fill the, the bank system? The bank system, we'll yeah. We'll go over that, but as you saw, I just turned off my fill valve. Okay. Turned down my bank. Now, reduce my pressure. Take a second to get all the pressure out, out of the system. And while that's going, you can open this up. Like I said, you don't need to touch this valve. Okay. Close your filled line valve. Release your bleeder. Undo your bottle. And when you just released all the pressure there, you just basically released all the air coming into here. You did not release uh, the ten to fill uh, the test the banks. Right? From here down is now there's no pressure on the system itself. Okay. You can open these up. Very little comes out. Okay. So now that if the fill banks, if they are below pressure of the bottle. You have to fill these up so the bottle itself can be filled up, correct? Correct, and how you would do that is you would 
make sure all your banks down here are closed. Okay. You would open these, let all the cylinders equalize, mm -hmm. open each one of them. Okay. It would then let all the cylinders equalize, and at that point, that's when you just come over here, hit your power on button to turn on the compressor, the compressor will run, and start filling up your banks. Okay, and does that shut off automatically after it's filled up? It is an automatic shut off. Perfect. And that's how you fill a bottle. Thank you.